，歡迎你嚟到我嘅泳之友，阿 Wing 林永涵頻道。咁咧，大家都知道感恩節、聖誕節又就嚟到啦。咁我都好多謝大家嘅支持。俾我好多 support， 咁我都亦想都想即係誒 say thank you， 多謝你哋啦。咁咧，我咧就有我平時成日用嘅 cleaning gel 想送俾大家。咁咧，如果你哋記得 subscribe， 如果你 subscribe 咧，我到時咧喺誒感恩節嘅之後嘅星期五。咁咧，我就會抽獎，抽出五位朋友，咁我就會送出呢支咁我成日好中意用嘅 cleansing gel， 亦都好多多謝我朋友啊 Kid Man 啦，佢 sponsor 我哋就送出呢支 cleansing gel 俾我哋大家，咁啊快啲 subscribe， 咁我咧我就會抽出五位幸運兒，十一月廿七號嘅啊星期五，我就會同大家講俾你聽，邊有邊五位幸運兒，所以記得 subscribe 啦。係一個好著名嘅藝人啦，咁但係跟住咧，佢又去咗外國讀書喎，咁就又讀咗會計啦。咁而家咧就係、是、一間公司嘅財務部嘅高層啦。咁最近咧，佢又開始咧有自己嘅 YouTube channel， 其實都幾精彩嘅佢嘅人生係。咁我哋請阿 Wing 咧，同我哋誒啲十八個女仔分享下。我不如誒、呃、等佢哋自己介紹下自己，先等你認識下佢哋啦。好啊，好，一號開始講啊。Hello， 你好 ，Nice to meet you。啊，我系一号 Vicky， 今年二。Hello，Hello， 我是二号温雨诺 Yuki。呃，今年十八岁了，现在是伦敦大学大一的学生，很高兴见到你。Hello，Hello， 你好，我系 Ariel， 三号曹晶晶，今年二十二岁。啊，我想。I can only understand a little bit. Of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, uh, I say hi. Uh, my name is Burrell. Nice to meet you. I always uh, can only understand a little bit, but uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Hello, Wing. I'm Six Hall Kitty. Uh, I'm at SFU. Graduate and I'm the same. Both are studying accounting. Going through CPA recruit. Oh, cool. Hello, my Tahoe Amy. Um, I just graduated from my master's in New York, um, and I am very honored to meet you. Hi, nice to meet all of you. Welcome. Hi, I. How many years I was in your position, so I know how you feel, and I'm in your shoes before. It's been a while, and I was 1987, <laughs> second one up is Hong Kong, and then I go to Japan, uh, to the international uh, pageant, and I got the Miss Photogenic, and I think that's the only one in Hong Kong get the Miss Photogenic from international. So it's been a while <laughs> and um, I have a lot of fun uh, joining the Miss Hong Kong pageant and also change my life. And I can tell you uh, how, how to change my life. And, and first of all, um, because I joined Miss Hong Kong, I got to able to go to a lot of function and uh, also got to oversee to see the international pageant. During the pageant, I make a lot of really good friendship with all the different uh, girls in all different all over the world. My best friend is Miss Japan, Miss Singapore, and Miss Thin. And we have a really good time and we uh, even our friendship lasts for a long time. Only about 10 years ago, we kind of lost the contact uh, because everyone moving, but, but we have a really good time. And also after the Miss International during the Miss Hong Kong version, I also make a lot of friends from uh, the all of Miss Hong Kong. Even now my best friend is Pauline. She's the first um, as the winner of the 1987 Miss Hong Kong. And, uh, and we become a lot of good friends with a lot of girls. And after the pageant, I become the artist, actress in, uh, for TVB. And I do a lot of drama. I did about probably in two years, I did 
at least like 10 to 15 drummer constantly non-stop. And I also be the host or MC for like music program and charity function. So um, I build a lot of friendship with uh, a lot of different singer, actress and the MC and uh, even behind the scene, a lot of producer and director is become my good friends. So and I have an opportunity to meet a lot of people, including uh, a lot of uh, important, famous uh, politicians, businessmen, and uh, um, it is all over the world. I remember during the Miss Hong Kong Goodwill, we had to visit Philippines and we meet the presidents and we have a lot of function. So the more people I met, and I think the more I know I probably need to go back to school. So that's why uh, after two years, even though I'm doing uh, very successful, I'm, I'm in the, um, a lot of popular dramas and I have a lot of fans and, and it's really a hard decision for me to leave everybody and go to school. But I was thinking because since I'm not that old <laughs> and I'm still young, I want to go to school. So that's why I picked um, USC and in LA, I came here to study accounting. And uh, after I graduate, uh, it was a really hard time for me because I have to make a decision. Either I stay in LA or go back uh, to TVB because I still have a contract. I have almost 10 year contract and I only finished about two to three years. So I have still have many years and they call me, they say, um, it's time to come back. <laughs> and uh, I say, I, and I, I just got a really good job at Warner Brothers here. And I said, um, I want to learn something more about corporate accounting and uh, corporate America. So I think, uh, can I just stay a little bit longer? I want to see, you know, the get a little bit different experience. And they're really nice to me and they say, okay, okay. So they let me to stay. And after I stay and I get married <laughs> and then I have a baby <laughs> and, uh, and then I become a mom. <laughs> so uh, I, that's why I stay and then go back. But I, I always go back to visit my friend and family. We still, uh, uh, I still connect to Hong Kong. It's not like totally I leave, I left. So after I become a mom and I got three kids now, uh, the older is 17, 15 and 12. And uh, after I become a mom, I uh, get to know and learn more about uh, parenting. So I decided to write a book. <laughs> so I, I, I wrote about, about parenting. When I go back to Hong Kong, I saw the difference uh, parenting in here, United States and Hong Kong. So I want to share my experience so people can mm, take maybe some reference. I'm not saying like you have to follow everything I do. They can just take it as a reference and see what kind of style they want and what's the difference. And also I took some uh, child development class at UCLA. So I just want to share what I learned from what I learned in class, what I learned at home. And I wrote a book and to share. If one day, if you have kids, you're welcome <laughs> to uh, read about it and you'll be really helpful. I talk about not just how to raise a kid and also a lot of Chinese tradition uh, belief or myth, is it true or not? You know, I kind of share all that too. And after uh, I wrote the book and become a mom and I kind of take a break from working for almost 10 years because I think bonding with the kid is very important. So that's why I kind of disappear in front of the camera for quite a while. And until my kid is older now and they are all teenager. <laughs> so I have a lot more time and also during this uh, pandemic, a lot of people have extra time at home and my friend from Hong Kong, uh, also a lot of people kind of stop working. So they have more time and we connect with me and I call them and say, hey, do you want to talk to me? And then I'll just record our conversation and I set up a YouTube channel to share with a lot of my audience, friends, so they have an extra option to see the, um, doing some more or see more entertain, you know, online during the pandemic, because I think right now a lot of people kind of stress and have anxiety. So I want to keep, keep people an option. They can uh, uh, maybe have one more YouTube channel they can choose. So my channel is to, um, the name is called Wing For You. <laughs> It's, it's share about a lot of uh, LA or United resource. And uh, I call my friend in Hong Kong and 
uh, chit chat, ask them what they're doing and uh, share about their opinion in life. And I also teach some cooking <laughs> because I like cooking. So I share some a lot, a lot of healthy recipe and also share around LA. If you can travel, maybe travel to another um, uh, maybe state, we can share a lot of fun thing to do here. And also a lot of friends in Canada, <laughs> like uh, Karen, and uh, she also miss Hong Kong. She helped me to uh, show around Canada too. And, uh, and so a lot of good friends really helped me doing this channel. And I, I, I found that doing this channel, set up a YouTube channel, I actually use every skill, everything I learned in my life in order to just set up this channel. Because when I do more, the more I do the channel, I be, it needs a lot of skill, like people skill, communication skill, technical skill, um, computer skill, writing skill, <laughs> everything I, I've ever learned and I have to use everything. Without all my friends and networking, I won't be able to ask a lot of my friends to come and uh, chit chat with me and interviews, yeah. Without, you know, going to school, I won't be able to learn the presentation skill, writing skill and communication skill and people skill. It's very important. And now the new skill for me to learn is editing. <laughs> and as you know, YouTube is, I, I have to, I, I pretty much do everything for on my own in this uh, uh, channel. So I even have to learn editing and uh, learn about YouTube program and uh, uh, learn about music and even lighting production and, and makeup and hair, everything. Because in Hong Kong before, when we filming, I just uh, remember my script, you know, and uh, kind of just present. And, but now I'm the one man band, <laughs> like lighting. Okay, I have to learn how to do lighting. Okay, and how to write a script, how to do organization, how to set up appointment for interview and almost everything. So I think when you just look at a YouTube channel, kind of like, well, it's not that difficult. You know, anyone can do it, but it's a lot of skill behind it. So I think, um, I know you guys have a project coming up to, have to do a kind of like a presentation and uh, kind of like a YouTube, how to do your editing and everything. I think it's really good skill to just to learn, even though, you know, you don't have to use it in the future, but it's just to learn and, and especially now everything is online. I think it's really good. And, and I know you, all of you, a lot of you are very smart. <laughs> so it, it's really easy to pick it up. If you have any question, you can ask me about like how to do it or uh, anything in my life or anything you want to learn or know, you can, you're welcome to ask me. <laughs> Is there anything that you miss the most at the um, entertainment industry? Uh, I do. I miss a lot. I, I do really miss. The most I miss is the friend. Yeah, because when we are, it's different when I go to a uh, corporate world to work. Um, it's more like a lot of time I do things on my own and maybe in a group uh, have conference and meeting and all that. but. When I'm filming, it's more like a big team. You know, we go different location and uh, you have people in front of the camera. You have people behind the camera. You have the hairdresser, the makeup, you know, the cameraman and the lighting and director, even the producer, you know. So, and it, it's a big group. Every time we work, we have at least 20, 30 people to go out, you know, and, uh, and my friend, uh, and then the artists, our art, act, actor, and uh, it, 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 it's just really fun. And uh, that's what I miss. And also when I come to here, um, we have everything here in LA, but people is not the same. So you cannot replace the people. So what I really miss is the friend. <laughs> not the grandma? Grandma, uh, you can say grandma or not grandma. A lot of people think, you know, Miss Hong Kong being actress, a lot of grandma, but uh, as behind it is also a lot of hard work. You know, I, when I was filming, I worked from, they call oh, six o'clock in the morning until uh, we call, uh, in Chinese they say Ling Lok Sam Ling. Ling Lok Sam Ling is, uh, we work from, in the, uh, in the uh, early morning you start working, and then you stop working at six o'clock in the morning. So it's 24 hours. 
So it's no break, you know, and the only break I have is um, maybe go back, take a shower, take all my makeup and I have to start again. And it's not easy. You know, a lot of people think it's fun. It, it is fun, but also uh, I really, really learned when I was filming is time management. Yeah, even I use it today. Yeah, because we have to do a lot of live show. You cannot be late, you know, you cannot be even one minute late. So, uh, and also they don't give you a lot of time to with the script and remember everything. So you really have to know how to work really productively and efficiently. So I really learned it from before. So now even I, a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? You know, you have three kids and they, uh, you're writing a book and you're doing a lot of things, you know, do you sleep? And I'll say, it's all about time management. How do you do it? You know, it's about how do you do multitask? You know, you cannot just do one thing and then I cannot do other things. You know, be, be a mom, you have to like, like talking on the phone and maybe writing a script and even cooking at the same time, <laughs> you know? So you really have to, you know, um, manage your time, then I think it will be easier. Yeah. Why, why did you join the Miss Hong Kong pageant? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, at, at that year, it's the first year they change it. Before they, I think remember the Miss Hong Kong was uh, about in May. And a lot of time, even people want to join, they can because uh, a lot of them in school, just like us. And this the first year they changed the time to summer. So it was, uh, they held a pageant in summer, I think it's about August, June or August, I don't quite remember, but we have the summer. So after I just finished high school and uh, the little break and, and I was thinking to continue school, but I was, before I was in Hong Kong, I was um, a model, I do modeling. I, went, I started when I was 14. I do commercials and magazine. So I have a lot of modeling friends and one of my modeling friends and say, um, I want to join the Miss Hong Kong. Do you want to go with me? And I'm like, oh, well, somewhere I don't have much, a lot of the plan, let's go. You know, so we submit the uh, application together and we both get in, get into the semifinal. Yeah, I was really lucky. And, uh, and we were very, I remember we were very scared and hesitate when we know we get into the semifinal because we just submit an application for fun. We never thought we're going to get paid, you know, because they always say the application at that time is like a thousand of girls. Like what's the chance a thousand girls, you're one of the 22. And they, that year they cut, cut it down only 22 uh, girls in semifinal and both of it get in. So we got we were really excited and happy and also got really scared because I was just like 17 years old. <laughs> Yeah. So did you have any expectations before joining a pageant? Um, I don't have a lot of uh, expectation because I'm more like do it for fun because I was thinking I really like studying and I was thinking just go for fun and go back to school and study. So I don't really expect a lot uh, because of that. I think I'm more relaxed and I make a lot of friends. And uh, I remember I was on the final on the stage and a lot of people asked me, you're only 17, how can you be so calm? You know, a lot of people really nervous, you know, like when you're nervous, you can see the face and you cannot even smile. I was like, okay, you know? So I think the more you relax and you look more natural and uh, just use it like a learning experience. That's how I look at it. It's just a learning experience. Doesn't matter what you get. I already gained a lot of friendships, so I was just happy to be there. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you girls have any questions? Um, yeah, I have a question. Uh huh. I was going through like uh, your YouTube videos, and I saw you have really uh, two cute daughters, and they <laughs> do, like a lot of skating and many events. So, like, have they ever expressed? Um, any interest in like pageant competitions? Um, my older daughter, she does ask me a couple of years ago uh, because we live in LA and uh, a lot of kids in his, her class, especially they, they go to school in Hollywood. So a lot of friends in their class, they are in the business. A lot of them do commercial, some of them a model, some of them their parents very famous director and famous model. So the kids already kind of in the business already. 
And so uh, one of her really good friends, her mom is really famous model. And now they moved to New York. It was because in LA. So her friend have a really famous model agent. And uh, they she give her the model agent to my daughter, call them, call them. <laughs> so my daughter asking me to call them to, uh, to get into the model agents. But and then uh, the COVID-19 come and we kind of um, stop right now. I'm not sure if they're going to take, uh, I don't know if any, any modeling job around or I don't know what happened because the coronavirus. So uh, he, she might have to ask her friend to see what happened. So, so she does, she does uh, uh, express some interest to do it because I think a, a lot of her friend, you know how that is, a lot of her friend doing it and she uh, was really into it. Yeah, and also she liked to look, she loved makeup, you know, pretty and, uh, and she was born like that. So I think uh, she, she will have fun. Even I told her if she really want to do it, I will support her because I go through uh, Miss Hong Kong and in the show business is really helped me uh, to really open up my eyes and also it changed my life. You know, I always thinking if I never join in Hong Kong, I never really uh, have those kind of experience, what my life going to be, you know, and now as you get older, you, you'll be older one day. <laughs> like when you're looking back and I have a lot of good memory and also a lot of my friends right now, and I got to know them because I was in the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, and people think, you know, you cannot have real friendship in the show business. They always think, you know, the show business is so fake and people uh, is not nice and uh, so many bad people. You hear a lot of negative thing about, you know, so entertainment business. But I don't think it's true, you know. And there's some good people and bad people and see how you pick your friend, you know, if you, you got, a good friend and it will last forever a lot lasts for a lifetime and a lot of my friends i know i know them and even now today we're still a good friend we still keep in touch and it really show because like you say you saw my youtube and many of them we know for 20 years 30 years you know and we still a good friend even though i haven't sometimes i haven't seen them for a long time because we all bit Busy and then in LA, then they are in uh, Hong Kong. Some of them in England, or we all different places. But thanks to the technology, now we can talk like you and me, and we can we can face chat and chit chat through the Zoom, and and I think it's great. And and I really appreciate and also I'm blessing for all that happened. So I think it's a good experience. <laughs> So, like, just another quick question. So, if your uh -huh. daughter, um, like, will be going to the modeling or like the entertainment industry, is there any like advice that you would give give to her? My advice is pick your friends wisely. <laughs> yeah, I think you attract to the similar person or personality. You know, it depends on what kind of person you are. I always teach them. You know, you have to. Uh, be a responsible person, be honest, you know, and I always told them, uh, if, if you treat your friend like a mirror, mirror, you know, whatever you want, treat your friend the same way, you know, I already told them. And so they uh, just be kind to people, don't, don't be greedy, you know, and uh, just a basic uh, good character. If you have it in you, and I think you attract the same type of friend, you know, so if they're different, you probably don't even want to get close to them, you know. So I think if you can pick your friends wisely and then you'll be happy and maybe your life is easier. You know, if you get into the wrong type of person or wrong group, there's so many people, you know, in this business. I'm, I'm sure it's not just show business. Everywhere you go to corporate world and you go everywhere you work, it's the same. There's so many different kind of people. And it's really depend on how you are and how you present yourself and uh, how, you know, your personality. And uh, if you're in the right group people and right kind of people and you'll be fine. Yeah. So I think the most important thing is just uh, keep your core value. <laughs> Good core value, not the bad one. <laughs> yeah. So and then also work hard. And uh, I always told them uh, work hard and don't expect 
a lot from people you know you just help them you don't have to expect they do the same thing to you and you don't have, get, have to get upset you know so if you dare to help other people make other people life easier and it doesn't matter if you do more or less you know that's how i think you know so um just be happy <laughs> you know life is short be happy <laughs> yeah thank you oh hi <laughs> Yeah, I have yeah, one can. question. Wing, sure. I love how you have like so many life experiences. You've tried so many things from corporate world, filming, and now you're starting a YouTube channel, writing a book. So for all the things that you tried, I really love trying different things as well. I feel like different experiences kind of enrich my life. But when you try different things, you kind of make big changes. Like you make big decisions that form the changes in your life. So when you're making those big changes or decisions, did you have any challenges and how did you kind of overcome or like what were you thinking um, during those times? <laughs> well, it's, it's many cha challenges. <laughs> I don't even know like how to tell you there's like, a lot of challenge, even though uh, I was pretty lucky, you know, and uh, when I finished Miss Hong Kong, not really finished doing Miss Hong Kong, I only got uh, a lot of support from a lot of audience, from company, from friends. And uh, it's always, you, people think, oh, you have an easy life, but it's not that easy sometimes because like I say, we have many, many hour working, you know, it's just like, we, I have no sleep. And uh, without sleep, and it's hard to memorize the script. Our script is not one, two page. At that time, on the TV uh, drama, we sometimes have 10 pages you know, to memorize. And, and every drama, I'm the main character. I almost carry the whole conversation. And I was new. I have no training. <laughs> I was going to Miss Hong Kong, they put me in a drama. I didn't go through the training school or anything. So I was kind of like learn by doing. And then luckily, uh, the producer was, was really famous at that time. He called Lei Tim Singh. He was coming down to the studio and uh, pull me go to the room and give me a crash course, you know? So, and, and that helped, you know, and it's not easy. And also I was appreciate a lot of my partner and they have patience for me. I do a lot of NG, <laughs> you know, I even have a nickname at that time. My nickname at that time is called Marianne. I don't even know why they call me Marianne because at that time, and uh, if you're from Hong Kong, about at that, uh, maybe in the 1980s, you kind of understand it, a commercial. Uh, Marianne is the, um, I forgot if she's a mom or, or, or caretaker. She, she, she make uh, rice, the rice cooker, she make rice. Every time she cooked the rice, messed up. But after that, she found a really good friend of rice and uh, she never make, messed up. So when the, you call Marianne, it's someone who always messed up. <laughs> So, so they call me my nickname is Marianne because I always messed up. <laughs> so, but, uh, but anyway, they're very nice. They have patience for me when I have NG and kind of give me a lot of tips, you know, how to do better and better. I think the most important thing is when you have challenge, you just have to be able to learn. You know, you, you have to have a really good attitude. You want to learn. It's not like when you have problem, you walk away. You know, it's like if you, I have problem, I walk away, I'll never even get the next project, right? So I might be just done with the first, first drama. I have enough, you know, and I, I cannot deal with it. But I just, um, I told myself I can do it, I can do it. But you just have to, sometimes it takes some time. And also when you fail, uh, just like my girl ice skating, they fall, you know, every time, they, even learning one jump takes sometimes take two years and they, they they fell within an hour. I counted almost hundred times. Boom, 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 boom. You know, so and it's really hurt. It got bruised, and they get up. You know, every time they fall, they get up. Even they have bruised, they get up. You know, so what keep them keep going up and don't don't even complain. You know, so I think it's the passion. You know, they have the passion to do it, and also when you have the passion, you have the motivation. You know, so this is probably how I feel before. I will, I like it, you know, I, I, I do a uh, commercial, I do acting before. At that time, I, I really into it, I really like it. And it's a new area for me to learn. So I was just don't even give up and keep trying. And I remember um, at one scene, 
uh, I was known for not able to cry. I, I have no bad experience when I grow up. And I remember the direct director, even the producer come down and it's really that very important scene. My, my, um, uh, my brother died and they say, you have to cry, okay? Your, your brother that you love him, you need to cry. I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. And then, and, and, and now like, uh, I, I just don't know. And uh, but at that time, and um, uh, the one actor, uh, Man Zila, you know, he really nice. He um, put me on the side and kind of helped me get into the mood and talk to me for a while. And then slowly, I really feel that I'm, I'm, I'm that person. And I really feel that, oh God, my God, my brother dying, not even dying, it's, it's my brother died and my tears start coming down. And then they say, okay, go, go roll the camera, go, go and do it. And I don't want in there. I was crying, crying, crying. I couldn't even stop for like 30 minutes. And they have to pull me out and say, that's enough, that's enough, you cannot cry anymore. So they had to pull me out of the studio and told me to calm down. And, uh, but things like that, you know, I thought I can never do it. And uh, it's it possible, but you know, I was kind of lucky have help, but even though you can, you have no help and you can, you can think of a way to overcome a lot of challenge, you know? So, and also there are a lot of other challenge too, like um, when I was uh, doing a corporate America, I take a break for almost 10 years and I go, then I go back to work, my, my kid older, it's like, how I'm going to go back to work is I didn't work for 10 years, you know, like a lot of Excel skill and you know how that is that maybe I need to learn again. Maybe, you know, a lot of skill I need to pick up. So uh, then I start uh, go work at the, uh, the company and luckily, and they uh, give me time and I took a um, UCLA called Management Engine Pillars Development Program. I took that program and it's really helped. And at that time, it's a lot of CEO, CFO, all over the world come to that program. And I learned a lot from them and a lot of really good management skill in the class. So ever since I use that skill, even today, I still using it. My company, it was um, after the, that uh, program, I used what I learned into that program, our sales almost double. Yeah, so, uh, so I think yeah, it just, you just have to think away and keep learning, even though, you know, have challenge and there's so many things happening. Like, like I have so many things to talk about, like YouTube, right? <laughs> like YouTube, I, at the beginning, I was have a partner together and I was in front of the camera, okay? And they are doing the editing and the other part, I don't have to worry, I was like, okay, no problem, I can do that. I can do it in front of the camera, I have no problem. And later, you, we have some conflict and our goal is different. So we kind of break, break up and he has his own channel. And, and then at the time I, I was taking about a week or two, a week, or almost two weeks break myself. I was thinking, should I go on? Should I not? I never do editing. I don't know what to do, you know? So is it really difficult? I don't know. I, I, I was like stepping back, like, should I continue? But I feel that because our old channel is very successful. I just start about two months and we got a million view and a lot of su supporter and a lot of people come all over the world and come reconnect with me and say, I really like your program. And they waiting, even though sometimes we have technical program, technical problem with our program about 30 minutes late. I got all the message, what happened? We're waiting for your program. What happened? What happened? Come. And then I'm thinking if I stop, there's so many people gonna get disappointed, you know, especially at this time pandemic, a lot of people already have some ha happiness, maybe watching the show and now I take it away. And now like, I, I feel, I, I, I don't know. I just like, I, I couldn't do that, you know? So in that two weeks and now like I told myself, I have to learn editing, I need to do it, you know, because if I depend on somebody else, things gonna happen again, you know? <laughs> and then I cannot move on. So I told myself, let's, let's learn editing and see what happened. And, and luckily my sister-in-law, she's a graphic designer in San Francisco in the 
um, Silicon Valley before. So she have a lot of good graphic designer skills. So I call her up, I was like, I need a crash course, can you help me? <laughs> so, so you don't need to ask for help right, when, you, when you need it. And then she said, okay, no problem. I told her what happened. You see? And then I go to her house and she teach me in about three hours, two, three hours. And she just told me what program to use, which program is good. And I pick it up in two hours, two, three hours. And I, I learned the whole editing process. So I use what she teach me. And then one thing, if you don't know a lot of, a lot of problem right now, you can go YouTube, they will answer anything. <laughs> so a lot of things I was like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to, I just research. And you know, you, you solve problem. You just have to think. That's, that's what happened. The school give it to me when I go to college. They not teach you everything, but they keep teach you how to think, you know, the critical thinking and how to do research. I remember my professor told me, that's why I study accounting. I love the professors. The first thing I, in the class, he told me, you don't need to remember anything. You just have to know how to find it, how to do research. And I love it. After that, I was like, okay, I'm going to major in accounting. <laughs> you know, I cannot memorize a lot of things. It don't make me remember everything. I, I can't do it. And uh, that's why I'm not really good when I study in Hong Kong. And uh, because I don't like that system, they make you remember, remember it word by word, you know, a lot of things and a dictation and all that. I was like, why do I have to do that? I don't even know why I memorize. But when I come to school in US, it's, it's really different. And you just have to know how to think and how to do research and you can get good grade and you can, it's a problem solving. You know, they, keep, they really teach you a problem solving skill. And uh, I use that problem solving skill to overcome when I have my YouTube channel. So I do a lot of research on my own and uh, find a lot of things. I don't even know how to do it. I, I find it online. And now I got my YouTube channel. <laughs> so it was uh, kind of like, uh, uh, I would say a big challenge for me at that time. Yeah, so, but now I be able to handle it. And I, my new channel have almost 40 something episodes now. So, and it's keep going. I, I planning to keep going because I find it very interesting and very good thing to do. It's kind of like my hobby now because before I don't have much time, I have to take care of my kids and take them to school, take them to the ice skating. But now everything stopped. You know, they have no school. They have Zoom and school, ice skating. A lot of the rings close in LA. So I have extra, you know, LA traffic, when you're stuck in traffic easily, two hours. But uh, I'm using that traffic time and uh, everything is about, I would say three to four hour a day. And I do my YouTube channel. And uh, now I have a lot of program. And, um, and I have fun with it. And also we connect with a lot of friends and, uh, and also share a lot of resources. A lot of people misunderstand America, you know, especially people from Hong Kong. They uh, always think America really uh, is a crime city. <laughs> you know, every time they talk about uh, uh, United States, like uh, it's gun shooting and um, uh, earthquake and all that stuff. I was like, it is true, but but United States is really big, you know, it's not everywhere. It's have crime. It, they, they get crime, but we don't go to that, that area, you know, so we are in the residential area, in the business area, we find, I feel safe. I never feel like I'm really, like really in danger when I go out. So uh, I just want to share, you know, what, what really happening in, in, in LA or in America. And uh, hopefully one day you can share Canada too, <laughs> right? Uh, oh yes, thank you. Hello. Yes, I... Yeah, you can ask. Oh, oh how I have you? a question. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Okay, how um, about you keep first? Okay, and then and then Betsy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, when you were uh, joining the Miss Hong Kong, you were only um, 17 and now I'm 18. So I have a life uh, experience of competition. So do you have any suggestions or uh, special things need to pay attention? So you're 18. So you, you finished high school? Oh uh, yeah, this year. Yeah, this, oh, this year finish high school? Oh my God, it's kind of my son. <laughs> he can be my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think um, 
I think it's really good experience, especially when you're young, because right now I don't think I can uh, join a beauty pageant, right? <laughs> I'm gonna, nobody gonna take me, I'm over age. Uh, so when you're young, uh, take that experience and, and just you know, create a new chapter of your life. And also, uh, like me, and you can go back to school also later. Or, or right now, a lot of homeschool and uh, online school, and you can do both at the same time. You can do your pageant and your even uh, show business job. A lot of uh, a lot of kids here they are in the show business and they're going to school and they're going to get homeschool because there's no way you can do filming and go to regular school at the same time. So you can do homeschool and also doing show business and just do everything. I think now this really good. Uh, especially with the technology and make it make life is much easier. You can do a lot of different things, but I, I think it's good to go for it. And, and you're almost there, you're here, right? So I think it's a good start. And even though, and, and I have one thing I have to say is it doesn't matter you win or you're not. And it doesn't mean when you're not winning and you're out, you know? So a lot of my friends um, at my, that year or even different year, a lot of them got really popular, very successful. They're not the one who get clung, you know? They're not the one who got really uh, first play or second place, you know? They don't have title, but they still doing really well. Is is the, see, is how you take the opportunity and how you to um, network other people, you have found the opportunity. So I think even though you, you get them, don't get the title and don't give up and still keep going, you know? So there's so many other things you can do, especially when you're so young, it's great. <laughs> yeah. So is there anything that she, she should take note of when she's competing with, you know, her fellow contestants who are four or five years senior? <laughs> Oh, just like me at that time, I was 17 and I, uh, I have to compete with uh, a, a couple of the uh, girls, they graduate, already finished college, you know, and some of them have a lot of experience. I was like a little girl <laughs> at that time. And uh, I think um, different people have different strength and weakness, you know, even though she, you think it's, you have that advantage, but you have other advantage too, you know. So I think just be yourself and um, not just, on, not only um, your look and not just uh, your personality count too, your personality, your character and your working attitude, you know, everything. When we miss Hong Kong, they're not just picking your face, you know, everything we do, they look at us, you know, are you on time? You know, are, can you work with other people? You know, are you easy to work with? And also, and um, they, they're looking at everything, you know, they pretty much looking at someone they can work with later. Like, do you work, want to work with someone really hard to work with? I don't think they want to, you know? So you just have to uh, be yourself, have a really good working attitude and be responsible. If you are a good person, you, you know, you, the door always opens for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if you are, even though you've, you know, have a lot of good experience, but you're a person really difficult to work with. I don't know. I don't think, you know, you're going to be successful anywhere you go. Daryl? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story. I had two questions. One was, um, why did you pick accounting? But you kind of answered that already. Um, but because it's such a different, it was a big shift from your successful acting career that was starting and then you went to accounting. And um, I guess the other question then would be, because a lot of us, some are in business, some I'm in film and theater, some are in uh, bio, um, art. So we're all very different in our career paths. But what did you find that pa the pageant, like a lesson from the pageant that was helpful for you to pursue uh, both in the entertainment industry and the corporate world and even your even YouTube channel? Like I say, at the end, everything come together. You know, it doesn't matter what you study and what the, whatever the school teach you. And 
the experience will help you. Like the, the pageant, even though you're not in the show business, say up, you got the title, you're not in the show business, you want to go back to your science world, you want to go back to your a different career path. But the experience you have here is still helping you. You get to make friends, you get to open your eye, or you got good network, right? You never know who you meet when you're in the pageant. Then not just the girl is a uh, no, you, I'm sure you know a lot of people behind the scene, you know, the producer uh, or even uh, the cameraman and anyone can become your friend. And you never know one day, they're those friends, one day you can meet them in, in other field too, right? So I think different, even though you, you don't have to stay in the show business, you're different, uh, come with different field and different career, but the pageant experience still help you with your personal growth, you know? So I think that's the more important. I'm sure you learn a lot, you, you don't even know, you know? It's like, you know, now you're in front of the camera, look at, you know, you're pretty, you, you learn makeup, you learn hair, you learn speaking and you're not afraid. It's not easy because even though it's just public speaking, able to not nervous, right? It, it took me two years to learn to be comfortable in front of the camera. When I first, I remember doing my own show in show business, when I look at the script, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I, even though I'm, I'm following the script, I'm not digesting. So my facial expression, you can tell was kind of stiff, you know, and if I messed up, I cannot move on because I don't not, I'm not digesting what I'm, I'm speaking. So take me a long time, I remember at least a year or even more, I kind of hear my own voice. I really know what I'm talking about. You know, when you can hear your own voice and talk about it, and then you can think. Before I couldn't think, <laughs> you know? So when you can think, then your expression will show, you know, your, your body language can show, and you're more convincing, you know, when you're acting, and also you might become a host, you know? It's just like when you see me talking like that, it's like, oh, it's no big deal, you know? It's like, oh, she's just talking and all that stuff. But actually, I go through a lot of training in order to just able to talk in front of camera, hear my own voice, what I'm talking about, you know? And also when I do my YouTube channel, a lot of people, some of them I uh, guess, or some people, uh, if you're not in front of the camera a lot, you can get nervous. Because when I ask you question, interview you, I have no question. <laughs> I won't give you any question. I, 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 you don't even know what I'm asking about you. You know, so I was like doing as just floating, you know, I would just go like, like that talking, share experience. And then when I think of something, I ask you a question, something that we lay. So I want this spontaneous reaction. I don't want to be like acting, you know, so, so when I interview, I want like, we're just talking like a friend and you don't want to pretend you're somebody else, you know, so you don't know what I'm asking and I'm just chit chatting but it's not easy some people want the the recordings on they're like like this they don't know what to say you know so when i turn off the the recording they're like ah oh, they can talk they can be themselves and all that but be able to just turn it on the camera and be yourself just think about it turn on the camera just be yourself see how long you take for you to do that you know if you can turn it on you still be yourself don't pretend somebody else and if you can do that, and when people look at you, watch you, they are comfortable too. You know, you have to make the audience feel comfortable when they're watching you, you know? But if you pretend you're somebody else, they, they can tell, you know, they're like, oh, this person, I don't like to see them. There are a lot of people, why, why I don't like to see this person? Why I like to see, see her, you know? So it might be a reason. Yeah, for me, I just want to be myself and, and just, you know, be as natural as you can, but this is not easy. <laughs> So it's, well, the main thing is you can be able to hear your own voice, okay? When the camera is on, you can hear your own voice and you can start thinking. That's what they call in Chinese, six up sound, you know? Yeah. So when something happens and say your partner forget what she's asking, you won't stop. You know, you won't have a, just a pause and you can still keep move on. You can know what to do, what to say next, you know, without the script. The script is just a plan but you really have to, the script is in your mind, that even better, right? So it's a lot of practice. So, but, but the more you do is experience, the more you do and the better you get. Like when I first start the channel, the, the YouTube channel, I have to learn too. When you first see my old channel, the first episode, 
okay? And you can see my light in the, in the background is all really bright. My face is all dark, black, because I don't even know I need to use lighting. <laughs> so I don't even know I need to put some light in front on my face so people can see my face. So they only see the back light and my face is all black. So it's all experience. I, I didn't even know because before I had the lighting crew to help me. I didn't even know I had to put the light. And now I learned to put the light and uh, the producer, uh, Punga, that called me and he said, your light is it's too much, it's over. And I'm like, I'm not a professional. I don't know how to tell what is over, what's not. So he told me my lighting here now, I have to put some wax paper. So he told me, remember when we were acting before, the lighting crew put some wax paper? Do you know why? I said, like, I don't know why, why? He said, because the wax paper, will soften you the face so we won't look at if I take this it'll really bright you know when I put this you see the difference so thing like that I have to learn <laughs> and and makeup too you know I used to uh when I do go in front of the camera before I have the makeup um they are the best makeup artists and help me like um uh Fai, right in Hong Kong she, he always passed away but he was the main guy in TVB. He helped me. He teach me a lot of stuff. And he always makes sure everything okay before I go camera. But when I do YouTube, I have nobody. You know, it's like, so I, the, 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 the audience told me, well, hey, your eyebrow is too light. You have no eyebrow, you know? And then they say, your eye, <laughs> where's your nose? Where's your lips? You know, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> so every time they have to tell me something, I fix it. So now, you can see my eyebrow, you can see my eyebrow, you can see my lips. So it, it takes about two, three months for me to get improved, everything. <laughs> you know, you, if I don't tell you, you think, you just look at me like now, it's like, oh, she looks really good. Everything looks really good, you know, but it takes me over time to learn and step by step. You know, it's not like when I first started, I'm perfect. Even now I'm not perfect, I'm still learning, you know. I just have a, a my program yesterday, I released it, uh, the volume, uh, audio got problem because I do it really rush. I do it the same day because of the election. And yes, they told me, people told me, hey, your audio problem. I'm like, oh my God. And it got problem, I, I don't have time to fix. So now today I go buy the new headphone. This headphone have a mic on it. So I don't have a wire, no wire. And the, 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 with this with a microphone and a earplug. So it, it helped me to move more easily. And also uh, the mic is much better. So if I don't make a mistake yesterday, I won't get this one. <laughs> so I was still using my old wire headphone, you know, and uh, so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you know, you just learn from your mistake and every day you get better. And, and it's, it's, I have to say, I appreciate the audience. They uh, have a lot of patience and they kind of like my teacher too. When they see something wrong, they will tell me and, and they don't, because of my audio, they leave me, you know, and the next day they will come back. Hey, your audio is better. Hey, your eyebrow today looks better. And one, one audience even told me, did you hire a makeup artist to help you? <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> I just spend more time and uh, learn and do better, you know? So, I think it is fun to learn. <laughs> now that there's only about a, a month and a half away from the final, if there's one tip that you would like to give them, what it is? Okay, a month and a half. You still have quite some time. A month and a half because at that time, uh, how what was the total like from the beginning to the end? How many months? Um, they started um the beginning of sometime in October. Oh, October. Okay, so more like Miss Hong Kong. Miss Hong Kong is about two to three months training, mm -hmm. and uh, you still have a month and a half, so you are like a um, little bit less than halfway. You still have some time. So during this time, I would say um, try your best. And also, I think very important the friendship with your friend. I remember. I was kind of shy in the beginning and uh, with the girl, I'm not very comfortable, but slowly we go through the training and we become such a good friend. And we, at, at the beginning, I, we were like, ah, oh, it's training again. Oh, it's training again. Kind of like, 
it's like a job, right? Yeah, right. And then later, almost at the end, we don't want to leave, you know, and, and we in the class, we don't even want to finish. We just keep going and going. We have so much fun. And I think this month and a half, and I think planning is very important. Have your schedule down, have your goal. You have to have a goal. You know, at, at the end, what do you want to achieve? What, what's your goal? You know, what, and find out what's your strength and weakness and work on your weakness. You know, so write it down, have a sheet of paper and do some self evaluation and what is, what is my strength, this is my weakness. You have to be honest to yourself, you know, so it's it just, otherwise you won't get improvement, you know. So I always tell, tell people, give me feedback. I don't mind if you say bad thing about me, but if you don't say anything, then I cannot improve. I don't know how to improve or what to improve, right? So I already told my friends, just to be honest to me, what do you think about me, you know? So just have a sheet, what is your strength and weakness? And then what's your goal? And see how the weak weakness area, see how many you can get improved, you know, and at the end and see what's different. Or maybe have someone, a good friend, and give you an evaluation, you know. So at today, you can maybe each other just exchange and list and what do you think about each other? And then a month and a half, and then you can have another list and see, we can talk to a person and see, do you change a lot? What do you change? What do you improve? You know, just like my makeup, you know, so, <laughs> right? And then skincare, makeup, and all the training, even walk, right? I remember when I first started the Miss Hong Kong training, many of us don't even know where high heel, you know? We have to carry the high, high heel. Why, when you finish the class, we throw it in the corner? <laughs> We're like, I don't want this, you know? Nobody wants to wear the high heel. But I remember at the end of the class, we wear a high heel to the class, you know? So it become our own shoes. So we become, we feel so comfortable wearing the high heel. I remember even though after uh, doing Miss Hong Kong, we do a lot of function and we have to walk a lot. I still wear a high heel. I don't feel uncomfortable and I used to it. So things like that, you can see a lot of change during this few months, even though it's not a long time, I remember. And I, I, you know, we learn so much we don't even know. And also, uh, we have to see a lot of um, press conference, a lot of press conference. And um, you can pay attention how you react, how you answer question with the reporter. And now maybe you don't have a conference face to face, but you still have YouTube, right? So you can kind of pay attention to yourself, how you answer questions. And then at the end, and then you can compare, do I get better, you know, do I get improvement? I'm sure you do, but take notes, you know, take notes is very important. Or ask your friend, we can take note each other and make some good friends. I think, you know, just set your goal. What is your goal? If, I'm sure everyone have a different goal, right? So just write down your goal, write down your, your strength and weakness, write down what you need to improve and work on it. And you have about a month and a half and still have time. So I think maybe I would like to see if uh, any feedback at the end, you can tell me, hey, I, I changed this. You know, I learned this and I, you know, what made me different? And I think that's very interesting if you can do that. <laughs> but the show will be on our TV and also on YouTube and, and our Facebook. So I'll send you the link by then. Uh, it's, uh, the okay. final is, yeah, the final is going to be air on um, the 20th of December. Oh, great, great. Yeah. I can, I can, I can wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Who, whoever will have a title happy, but if you don't, I think it's okay. You know, you, you learn a lot, you make a lot of friends and uh, it's not like, you know, end of the world. And I think just um, uh, have good respect with each other and just be happy. Then you avoid the process. Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Wing, so much for sharing your experience. I'm sure the girls has, have learned a lot. And let's give a big hand. Thank you. So, I hope you will have a chance to share with us again. Look forward. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. 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 Bye and I hope I can see you again and see what's the big change of you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
。如果你中意咧，就記得去以下呢個 website 度購買，記得擺 promotion code 啊，因為咧部分嘅收入咧就會動呢俾慧賢嘅。慧賢雅集咧就係、是、香港小姐嘅慈善機構，我亦都係海外嘅會員嚟噶。咁我梗係想出分一出翻一分力啦。咁希望大家都支持啦。係多謝大家收睇我嘅節目，記得 subscribe and 俾 like 啦。